Didn't you also, I'm not sure whether this was the response of a letter, but somehow you ended up meeting Chuck Norris? Oh, Chuck. Yeah, great guy. I came to his house <clears throat> and, uh, you know, I find <laughs> I was traveling all around. And uh, Chuck, um, I came to his house, he opened the door, he saw me, and he remembered me from uh, karate magazines. Mm -hmm. And he said, come in. And he was sparring with uh, a guy champion. And he was very smart. He said, can you please, Jean-Claude, spar with this guy? And I want to look, you know, because you have so many crazy guys in the business. Mm -hmm. So <clears throat> I trained with a champion and uh, he was very impressed. And I stick with him for a few months mm -hmm. as a trainer. Yeah. Now, when you all went at it, did you go full contact or... How did you do that? Sparring very light, you know? Yeah, very light. Because you know what scared me when you were about to kick me? <laughs> um, <laughs> I, I know that, that you're very talented, the people around you are very talented, but I looked up at your forehead and there's a bump. And I saw that bump and I saw my whole life pass before me. Because <laughs> I'm saying is if, if, if he kicks me... But, but that's not for kicking, it is, it's because I'm too smart, so we're growing away, you know? <laughs> Spend. The brain is pushing, trying to get That's out of it. That's right. I need more room to grow, Jean-Claude. Uh, <laughs> oh, oh, you know, I heard that the version that we're going to see opening here Friday is not the complete version. Isn't there a more extensive love scene being shown in France and other countries? Yes. Yeah, uh, what, was it too strong for America? Not too strong, uh, but the impact of Double Impact was very strong. I mean, it was like... It was different. It's, it's maybe more pronounced. You know that. I mean, I don't have to teach you uh, how to do that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, uh, the director shows more over there? Um, it's a different cut. In Europe, they like to see more. Like, uh, for example, a movie like Nine and a Half Weeks was more strong in Europe than in America. Ah. But it's, it, I mean, it's very strong in the U.S. Guys, believe me, it's like... Yeah. If you like a nice love scene, you're going to enjoy Double Impact. Well, <laughs> will these women be able to deal with two Van Dams? Because uh, don't you play like twins in this? You mean with Double Impact? Yeah. I think so. <laughs> <laughs> here, we have the best teacher of America. Oh, yeah. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I'll teach you another word. No. Uh, <laughs> no, stick with large. Just, just keep large. Uh, I had asked you to bring a... <laughs> figuratively speaking. No, I know, I know, I know, I know. It's, it's, in, it's a I career know. term. Now. Right, right. Um, I, I asked you if you could to bring a photo of you when you were a kid, because I wondered what this guy looked like when he was a kid. Did you bring... Did you get one? Okay, no, I'm going to give a big lesson to all the kids of this country. Because when I was young, <clears throat> I looked so stupid. No, honest to God, I was very skinny, very fragile. If we have too much wind in Brussels, mm -hmm. I was flying around. I was so skinny. <laughs> Look at this, with glasses on. Let's have a close-up on that one. Sandy, yeah. <laughs> wow. No, no, yeah, it's true. No, because my training with karate, I really changed my life. So it's good to do some sport. You know, it's very good for the kids. Yeah. But I still have, uh, I still have the eyes, you know. <laughs> so I'm gonna get to put them back straight. Where did you get your determination? Honest to God? Yeah. Okay, first of all, in Belgium, we don't have movies. It's right. impossible. Only movies on TV, black and white movies. Mm -hmm. But my passion for films. I just love movies. If tomorrow, uh, the studio, they're telling me um, it's two dollars to make a movie. I'll do movies. Mm -hmm. I just love movies. Yeah. It's like it's my life. Honest to God. Um, you've been doing something that I've never heard of an actor doing in this town. You've been going around to theaters yourself, not sending someone, but I hear you went to a theater to talk to the projectionist. Yes, to put the uh, volume up. Because my <laughs> no, listen, <laughs> my first. My first movie were very low budget, like below two millions. Mm -hmm. So the sun was not so good print in Europe somewhere for like a strange deal. Mm. And uh, I was driving around in LA trying to push people to say, guys, let's put the sun and this and that. And really, I came from the bottom and the audience, the audience made me what I am today. 
I mean, with them, honest to God. They are the one who put me on the map. Sorry, thank you. Uh, <laughs> so you actually go to the theaters and make surprise attacks to make sure the movie is is a good print and the volume's cool and uh... yes i mean you have to check i mean those guys they're buying the tickets and they are the one uh, to decide if a movie is going to flop or not mm -hmm. no matter how many publicity you have i mean they are the one to buy the tickets and i want to make sure those guys are happy well you should actually go before the movie comes out and make sure they show previews of of the movie too you know? yes i uh, i'm doing that don't worry <laughs> <laughs> No, are, are you serious? Are you going to make sure that the trailers are being used? Yes, everything. With uh, T2, my big friend, Arnold, uh, Boys in the Hood. Yeah. All those movies. I'm pushing, pushing, all the way. Pushing, pushing. Ah, number one, guys. <laughs> <laughs> um, you trained at one time with attack dogs. How did that get started? Oh, how do you know that? Oh, I just uh, have a good research team Jeez, here. <laughs> this guy's in the <laughs> well, I, yes. FBI. <laughs> <laughs> no, what, what happened? No, that was the gall. That's no, right. anyway. <laughs> That's right. Um, <clears throat> uh, yes, I was having a very strange teacher. His name is Claude Gatz, and he trained me since I was a baby. Mm -hmm. And he told me, he called me on a, on a, you know, at home, Jean-Claude, come to my house. It's like about 10 miles. I've got to run there. So I was running to his house. This is a real story. I'm not, I mean, this is real stuff from Belgium. I came to his house. <laughs> oh, if it's from Belgium, I mean, you know it's you good stuff know. and it's real. <laughs> right. Yes, this is not one of those American talk show stories. Yeah, like, uh, <laughs> like FBI. So, uh, you know, I came to his house. Ouch! I was, uh, sit down. I was sweating so much. I was honest to God. And he said, Jean-Claude, put that outfit on. And it, it's something very thick, thick tissue. You know, they train dogs with it. I mean, he told me, honest to God, I put that stuff on. It was like, I said, what now? I was sweating everything after running. He said, you run. It has a big property outside Belgium, in the country, 10 miles. So I run away, and the guy dropped his dog on me. A strong dog. Didn't attack me on the face, but took my arm, my legs, and tried to put me down with the balance. Mm -hmm. And that's how he trained me, sometimes. I'm, I'm, I'm not kidding. And that's why in the movie Kickboxer, we have that scene when the guy's running with yeah, the dog. Yeah. But I was naked. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, before he leaves, I want to show you a clip from Double Impact. Uh, why don't you set this clip up? Uh, two twins, one guy like a uh, Tony Curtis and one guy like a uh, Ch Charles Bronson in Asia. Uh, lots of action, a love scene, romance, everything. August 9th, we opening big. Okay. <laughs> and this guy, love the words, Arsenio is big. <laughs> Large. Large. Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sandy, let me see the clip. Double impact, Jean-Claude yeah. Van Damme. You're under arrest. You're gonna have to take me! One more move and you're dead. Oh, no. oh. <laughs> wait, wait, but here's, here's the funny part. He when he looked at me and even in his broken English said you mother. <laughs> Okay, we're saying that was from Dolomite. That's this my favorite movie. Oh, that's Rudy Ray Moore. Okay, let's show Sandy. So okay, 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 okay. Sandy, show double impact. Jean Claude Van Damme. Woo! There's two of them. Think about it. He looks exactly like you. Me? Watch my back. Good to me. So now what do I do? That's what I love about you.
double impact. 